Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another top five video for you today. Today I'm going to be going over offense. I put out a video not too long ago that was top seven things on defense you can do before the play starts. And today's video is going to be on the offensive side. Now I'm going to have five things, audibles, adjustments, things to look for uh, that will dramatically improve your offense. If you want to see more videos like this, as always, hit the like button and let me know in the comments section. I'll make sure to do more videos like this in the future. Other than that, let's go and let's get right into the video. Starting off at number one, we have manual substitutions. You can make substitutions at the uh, menu screen or you can make substitutions play to play. To me, this is probably one of the better ways to do it. Uh, if you have scenario where you know you're going to be throwing to a certain receiver, putting your best receiver at that spot just about every time or your fastest receiver makes the most sense. But there's more things you can do than that. Uh, on this particular series of plays I'm going to show you, I like to put my fullback at my third tight end position for a couple reasons. Number one, he's going to be a much better blocker in run plays, uh, which you're going to see in a couple of these plays here like i said my fullback a lot of people's fullback a lot of teams uh fullbacks are always going to be better blockers than their third tight ends as you can see right here it really helps to seal the edge and to get my running back outside but it also has the added bonus if you like to throw to that tight end spot typically your starting fullback is going to be a little bit more athletic a little bit better of a receiver than your third tight end as you can see right here uh, he makes another play goes right through a guy and uh, gets a big carry uh, there's also some plays that not a lot of people know about but in this very same formation where you can add actually run a jet sweep to the tight end slash fullback once again i'd much rather have uh, my overpowered fullback who has a lot more speed than my third tight end running that spot as you can see it just helps out in many different ways i also find that substituting your power back whenever you're running inside is a good way to cut down on fumbles uh, your power back's also going to get a lot of fall forward yardage oddly enough though design fullback runs are typically best when you substitute a running back at the fullback position so there's a million different ways you can gain advantages by you know switching positions you can put linemen at tight ends there's so many things you can do moving on though to number two make sure that you set your audible plays a lot of people will go right into a play without actually setting their audibles when you set your audibles there's a number of different things you want to do if you're more of a running player you typically want to set your audible plays to make sure that you have uh, run plays to all different levels of the field dives and stretches and tosses so that uh, no matter what defense you're looking at you have something that you can audible to so that you can get an advantage you always want to have some passing plays in there as well uh, if you're more of a passing player you want to change your audibles a little bit more uh, typically if you're a passing player you want to make sure you have one play for cover two one play for cover three one play for cover four one play for man you typically want to vary your attack no matter what you do when it comes to setting your audibles so no matter what defense your opponent throws at you you're going to have something that you can audible to uh, to beat that uh, which is nice it's a feature they added to Madden maybe last year and it's something that I still don't find enough people use online uh, as you can see right here I mean this is all from the same gameplay I'm pretty much just using the exact same run plays uh, all the way into the end zone stretches counters dives it has an added bonus that your opponent will never really know exactly what run play you're going to throw at them based off the fact that you can audible to so many different plays. The very next tip is to read the defense. I know it sounds pretty simple, but most people don't do that. On this first series of plays here, I mean, all I have to do is read the defense. I see no deep safety help. I know that he's pretty much going to be sending an all-out blitz. And based off the fact that I can read the defense, I can just make a simple adjustment, which is something that, you know, looks simple on paper. All I'm really going to do is put one of these guys into a zig route, the A route there, uh, which you know isn't a home run play by any stretch but because i can read that defense and i can make that adjustment it almost turns into a 60 plus yard touchdown based off of the fact that all i had to do was read the defense and like i said a lot of people don't do that enough making simple reads and adjusting to those reads is probably way more important as far as winning madden games than actually running money plays um but you know that's something that's for an entirely different video i already made a video called how to read and beat every single defense in madden 20 i'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check that out because it's much longer than i want to spend on this particular video but you have to know how to read defenses if you can read defenses any one play touchdown you're going to set up is going to be uh defense specific like this very next play here my opponent's going to run a cover three I'm running a cover three one play touchdown. That's how you beat these plays. You have to diagnose the defense first in order to make them successful. Otherwise, you're going to be throwing a lot of interceptions. So if you can't read a defense, the next tip would be use the previous play menu, uh, which is available in some game modes. Other game modes, it's not. 
but if it's available in the game mode that you're playing, you have to use the previous play menu because most people uh, pretty much play on a cycle. Uh, they'll they'll switch in and out here and there. They'll go from th cover three to cover one, but eventually they'll go back to the defense they use the most, and that's when using the previous play menu and getting a better idea of what they're running against you the most consistently will pay off. Like it does here in this next play as I beat my opponent right up to cover three seam. So it's very simple. Like I said, you can't use this in every game mode, but if it's in your game mode, make sure you're looking at it and using it. Uh, the next tip would be look for space. You don't always have to be able to read a defense. Sometimes you just have to be able to read what's in front of you. Here my opponent is trying to send an all-out blitz once again, which I'm going to try to beat with this zig route. But the second he tries to move this guy in to get a faster blitz, I, rec I immediately recognize it and I switch over to a flat route because there's nothing now covering this guy uh, into the flat. And I only need about three yards. So making that adjustment once again, you can see how, I mean, this cornerback played down a lot quicker than I thought. But you can see how I get the first down, which is all I really wanted. So anytime that you can read a defense and read space is going to be, uh, you know, just as effective. So here once again cover two he's pressing look at all the space between the cover two press cornerback and the safety so i know that this streak will get open to the outside i just have to wait for him to get past that first cornerback press throw it outside and boom we have a big play i could probably, probably could have caught and ran that for an even bigger play here's another scenario of exact same setup cover two one more time the play was supposed to be to the tight end that's why i motioned him out but the second that he pressed that cornerback i know that that's no longer going to be open and that the the b route will be open over the top because once again that's where the space is so if you can't read a defense sometimes reading spacing is going to be more important it's the same thing with run plays you always want to be looking for space when it comes to run plays as well. Here I was going to run a jet sweep, but ultimately those defensive ends are a little bit further than my blockers. They probably would shut that down. So I decide to see, you know, I see a nice big gap uh, between the defensive end and the defensive tackle. I try to switch over to an inside zone in the same formation, and ultimately it gets blown up, but it's still a better call because it looks like I would have got blown up on the outside as well. Here's a very similar situation. Once again, we have that exact same gap right over the, uh, the guard tackle. I switch over to the inside uh, the inside zone one more time he switches over and changes his defense i don't know if he switched to a man coverage which is what it looks like uh, but ultimately that gap went away so i have to switch it right back to the original play I then have to hurry up and try to run it so he doesn't switch his defense one more time. And even though this is a third down where most people would probably be too uh, gun-shy to try to run it in from seven yards out, it works out. I get a wide open lane and take it in right into the end zone for an easy uh, touchdown would ultimately, you know, put the game away. So that's it. That's the vid. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this, uh, as always, like I said, hit the like button and let me know in the comments section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.